Hi, Bill DeWeese, voice talent and voice over coach. And um, I wanted to share with you a question that I was asked last night. I was conducting a webinar, a voice over career building webinar, which, by the way, I'll put a link to it in the description if you want to check it out. It's free. Um, but I was uh, doing some Q&A toward the end of the webinar. And someone asked what I thought was a very insightful question and one that I wanted to share on this, uh, in, this, in this video today. And the question was this, of those who, who fail, who do not succeed in building a voiceover career, what is the number one reason that they don't make it? What's the number one reason that they fail? And uh, while I think it's very beneficial to understand the things that we need to have and know and understand to succeed in something, I think it can be equally valuable to understand the main things that cause people to trip up, the landmines that sabotage and destroy careers or dreams. And the number one thing from my observation and my years of not only building my own career, but working with hundreds and hundreds of other voiceover talent is that uh, it's a lack of endurance. Endurance is the primary quality that's needed to succeed in voiceover and not just in voiceover, but really in anything. There is a great book that I read a number of years back by um, a business and marketing consultant. His name is Seth Godin, and you've probably heard of him. He wrote a book called The Dip. If you have not read it, I strongly encourage you to read it because the way that, that Seth Godin uh, describes the dip, it's that, it's that time that all of us, every single one of us, have to travel through to get to where we are, to where we want to be in relation to our goals in life. And uh, let's talk specifically in this case of our career goals. The dip is that time in the very beginning when we don't know what we don't know, where we are incompetent. We are unskilled. We lack confidence. We lack the knowledge that we need to succeed. And it can be mentally and emotionally very challenging because we feel the incompetence. We, our self-esteem and our ego take a big blow during that time. And the reality is a lot, many if not most people, cannot mentally endure that valley, that desert time, when they haven't, before they've developed the skills and the knowledge which comes through experience and time to be able to succeed and come out on the other side. So my answer was, is endurance. You don't need, you don't have to be the most talented or the most skilled to succeed in voiceover or in anything. What you need to be, you need to be the last man or woman standing. And, uh, you know, as I look back over my career, I realize that I may not have been the most talented at what I did. And I, I mean, I certainly had, I had to develop and work very hard at what I did. What I feel that I was best at was simply hanging in when it was tough, when I wanted to quit. And believe me, there have been times in all of the things I've done in my life, uh, the different career paths I've taken that I wanted to quit because it was hard. I felt like I didn't know what I was doing. I felt, felt like a failure. I felt incompetent, but we all do in the beginning. That is the dip. It's necessary that desert of incompetence and lack of skill and knowledge is absolutely critical to get to success. So um, while many people fall along the wayside because the, the, you know, the mental, uh, the, the self-talk is, I'm not good enough. Uh, why did I decide to do this in the first place? I will never make it. Look at everybody else who's so much better than me. I can never compete. These are the things we all think early on. Um, change that self-talk to, I understand that I'm learning. I'm in the beginning of this. I haven't figured it out yet, but I will. That my skill is not the ultimate determiner of my, uh, of my success. It's my ability to hang in there during this tough time so that I can come out on the other side with the experience, with the skill and the knowledge and the understanding to succeed. So I wanted to share that with you because I understand this can be, it can be tough, really learning anything. And when you're in a, in a performance-driven type of profession like voiceover, I think it can be particularly difficult in the beginning. You can have the business skills, you can have all the knowledge and know what to do, but mentally you have to be prepared to hang in there during that tough period early on. And it, you know, that dip is longer and shorter for different people, deeper for others than it is, you know, for some people than others based on your background and knowledge uh, and such. Uh, but I want to encourage you to hang in there. Because if you can hang in long enough, you will see success on the other side. And again, if you haven't checked out the book, The Dip, make sure you do it. It's absolutely fantastic. But remember, 
it's it's that it's having the right self talk and developing the mental toughness and um, and believing that you are good enough and that eventually the skills, the knowledge, the experience will catch up and you will get to where you want to go. I hope you found the video helpful. If so, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share. I do want you to be successful in voiceovers. And I look forward to talking to you again very, very soon.